Hi there. Happy Halloween. It's time again to revel at a time when the very air is filled with monsters. And as you know, for many of us, it's time to prepare our own little monsters to go out trick-or-treating. <laughs> or maybe the older monsters are getting their Halloween celebration or party or ritual ready. <laughs> Regardless, it's a good idea to eat first, especially to keep the kids satisfied before they go out hunting for candy. And so, I thought it would be fun to try a true meat-eater's dish and make a roast beef to serve on Halloween. We're using eye of round roast for this dish, slow cooked in a vintage cast iron pan. Now, there's a popular method for making eye of round that involves roasting the beef in a 500 degree oven, then letting it rest and slowly cook for two hours after that. This is a good way to make a medium rare roast beef, but for Halloween, I wanted something rare and dripping with blood. And that means we'll be using a newer method for cooking beef that has become quite popular recently. We'll be using the reverse sear method to ensure the meat is rare, something that should make any wolfman rejoice. Making sure the roast is bloody rare only requires a few easy steps, but they're all necessary to ensure it isn't overcooked. This is why we trim off the extra fat from the roast and marinate it with salt for an hour at room temperature to be sure the outside is dry. Here we're just using a simple rub of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, but you can, of course, use your favorite rub for the roast. We also use twine to tie it into a uniform round shape for the same reason. This will ensure the entire roast cooks at the same rate. And this is also why we need to use a probe thermometer to keep track of the temperature. For the roast to be rare, we only need to cook it to a temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And the wait is over, and now the fun begins. We remove the roast from the hot pan to keep it from overcooking. Now we cover the roast with foil and let it rest for 10 minutes. During this time, the temperature of the meat will rise to 125 degrees, so it will be safe to eat. All that's left to do now is sear the outside of the meat to give it a good, tasty crust. We only need to sear the roast for about a minute because it's already cooked. The crust is, of course, essential to really give it a special taste. And once we're done searing, we can immediately carve our roast beef. Not a single bit of well-done gray meat and the juices are flowing freely. We wanted this roast to be rare and bloody. I'd say this is exactly what we've achieved. A roast like this is certainly a treat for any Halloween zombie, <laughs> no matter how old you are or indeed whatever time of the year you decide to make this. 
It's a carnivore's delight, and one certain to bring on the howling werewolves and monsters. Not to mention guests for the other holidays appearing at this time of year. <laughs> and this is so easy to make, it's something you can slow cook in the background while other duties are taking place. So, as far as a holiday dish is concerned, this is certainly a trick and a treat. Thank you for watching. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>